welcome to Accessorize Your Life, where aging gracefully and accessorizing your life meet I'm Julia. I am doing this video a little differently. I want to try doing it on my camera, so I hope you will bear with me. And uh, let's get started. This is my makeup tray from the last time I did a Shop My Stash. So I want to quickly go over what I used and how I liked it. As you know, I dabbed into the MAC um, Cherry Blossom Collection. And I picked up two blushes. One in Look, Don't Touch. And it's their um, formula that everyone likes. The Extra Dimension, I think it's called. Yeah. And uh, I did like wearing this. It's definitely a topper or more of a highlighter on me. And that's exactly what I wanted it to be. That's what it looks like on me. Nice and bright. I did get a chance to wear both of these. This is the one that I actually picked up to be a blush. And it is in Under My Plum. And I really do like this formula. It's my first time trying the MAC blush any MAC blush. So here is the one that's actually in Plum. I really like it. And hold up guys, let me put this light on this ring and it might make a difference as to whether or not you can see. Don't know if it's coming across because I can barely see in my camera, but this is the Plum one. And this is the first one I showed you, which was uh, Look But Look Don't Touch. So those are really nice. I'm glad I purchased them. Also from MAC, I got one lipstick and it is in Moody Bloom. It is a little more red than I would like. I wanted something more peachy, but I just didn't see anything that I thought would look good on me from this collection. So when I did wear it, I uh, wiped some off, put on a liner, and then put on a little gloss over it, and it was perfect. Got compliments on it. And so it worked for me. I think I used this cork, this MAC cork as the liner. So um, not loving the color as a standalone shade, but perfect, wore nicely when I doctored it up. And I've always enjoyed wearing the Natasha Denona Contouring Sculpting Powder. Um, I love a good contour. And oftentimes I've picked up um, bronzers to do that job, but I think from now on out, I'm just going to stick with anything that says contour. It looks like it's in my shade because um, that's what I want. I don't want the sparkles or any highlighting going on. I just want to contour my mature face and skin. And for the lips, I think the one I said I shot my stash for was this one here, 125. And it is in Insider, I believe it says. I can't really see the small writing. But um, I wore this a little. Again, I had to play around with it and to make it work. It's really, really bright, deep pink. And I'm glad I didn't pay much for it. So I ended up pulling this out after the fact because it's a little deeper and it wears better on me. This one is 160 and it is in Mover, I think. I really can't see the names on these. They're so tiny. And then let's move on to the MAC. Uh, fix it fix plus I really like it I like how it sprays out I will keep it in for another go round and then my boohoo or the one I did not like as much my fail was the winky lux I liked it I wore it I had no problem but when I filmed in it it just made it was just too dark for me so so no Ulta had sent me the sample in deep and I thought it was too pale or light, and I went out and got deep plus, and it's too dark. So uh, there's nothing in between, so that was not a good deal. Maybe I can mix the two and get a better um, look from this so that it's not a total loss. As far as there being a scent in this, it does not bother me. I like how it wears. It's light feeling on my face and uh, everything else is good it's just the shade is not right so I think I'm going to mix the sample with this and I might come out all right so I think this will stay for the another go around using it with that and I did use the Mac and saddle this is a nice basic transition color for me in Mac which I enjoyed wearing and you know what I did I wore it quite a bit with this palette in particular the color headliner this pretty color right here 
which I went back and inadvertently bought a second color in. I like this palette a lot, but I feel that it's more of a fall palette. It's not so much a spring palette in my opinion, so I will put it back and pull, be sure to pull it out again later in the year. I did get this new palette um, last time. I got it because I was on this, you know, spring, MAC, anything that looked like outdoors. And this is the Milani Gilded Getaway Palette, shaped like a, uh, or is in a um, little van motif here. And it is powdery can, and dusty, can I tell you. But again, it's got outdoor names. It's got kind of shades that can be early spring, fall colors to me. Um, I played around in um, Succulent and Tremendous a lot. I even put in Vacay Goals and Happy Camp or Good Vibes a lot. I dipped into Kindle and Campfire. But these two were the ones I wore the most. This is Oasis, and this is Smoldering S'mores Fun. So these two I wore the most, and I think they worked pretty well. But to me, again, they scream fall. So, uh, yeah, I'll try this again, but it's not much of a loss because it didn't cost me much. This one didn't either. So, um, yeah, that's it with the palettes. And um, I'm going to hold on to the... Um, Beauty Bakery Bite Size Pinch of Flour. One more go. This is surprised me. This is a sample I got. Well, not a sample, but I used my points from Ulta. And it's the Benefit the Poor Professional Super Setter. So actually, it's a spray. I didn't take time to realize that because then I had two sprays. I really thought this was a primer for your pores. Ha! Huh? Got it now. So anyway, that's a recap and what I've just learned from what I used last week. So now I want to get into looking for a wipe. Excuse me, it may be noisy for you. But now I'd like to get into the products I want to pull for the week coming. And guys, I am not and have not been using my computer to generate uh, products for me like I started off doing. And I won't be doing that today because it just takes up a little more time than I have as of late. But I am keeping track of everything. So um, I'm going to go pull my products and then show you what I'm going to be using for the week. Hold on. Okay, so I've pulled everything that I am going to be using this week. I had decided to put back the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Pinch of Flour in its place. I am going to use Charlotte Tilbury, her number three airbrush flawless finish perfecting micro powder and it looks like this looks very light but it works on my skin and also from charlotte i am pulling her pillow talk cheek to chic in intense and this is a um blush doesn't look like much color but it goes on nicely looking forward to that and also from Dear Charlotte, I am using a palette I've had for a while, and I've not tried it. It's the Desert Haze. I mean, I had this from last year and never used it. It's one of her mattes, all matte palette. So I am going to be using that. I think I swatched it, but never used it, never wore it. So actually, these should be going there. And for primer, I have these samples of YSL Top Secrets Instant Matte pore refiner. So I am going to use this for the week. And I had to pull out a new lash and brow pencil. This one is finished. So in the trash it goes or uh, empties it goes. And I will be using this. I'll stick it here for now. And I pulled out a palette another palette, and this is Vizzy Art, and I pulled it because it has that, these at least two colors that I consider spring colors. I like these two colors for spring, and this one might do as well. So this is what we're looking at. I can use these for inner corner or toppers, I feel, and I think they will make beautiful spring shades. Yeah, 
I'm liking that. So I can deepen the corner with these two or use the Charlotte Tilbury palette to do that. So it doesn't look like much is going in my tray this week, does it? And for contour, I pulled out the Morphe Highlight Contour Palette and it, it's an H, no, it's 8H and it looks like so. So I can highlight on this side and contour here. So that goes there. And I only have two more products, you guys. And that are, they are, they are my lippies. The YSL and I have it in number 16. I know there's a name, but it, I can't see it right now. So I'll show you what it looks like. I haven't worn it in a while. Right here. And I have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, and this was one is in Pillow Talk. I'm trying to find the number three intense, I think it is. I hope it's not too close to no, it's not. So they're different. I think they'll wear well. So that's it, guys. That's what I will be wearing for this week. So I thank you for tuning in to another Shop My Stash, and I'm happy to have gotten this Shop My Stash out this week. Thank you for watching, and if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I invite you to do so. 